Hi, my name is Shirak, and I'm going to start a very basic applic Angular JS application powered by Cold Fusion. Uh, I have two projects here. One is CF Art Gallery. It's uh, ha uh, CF Art Gallery is has a couple of CFCs in here. The first is an object and the data access layer, the query statement, and the gateway, and also we have the services. We care about the services because they all has the remote access type, so I can call it via the AJAX calls. The other project, and also the, oh, before I go to the other project, we're going to use this get all artist method to get all the data as an array of artists. The other project is simple Angular JS. I have a very basic HTML or index page in it. Um, I have a script block or the library that points to the Angular JS core library. If you if you, if you don't know or never heard about Angular JS, it's it's a mo it's a model view controller framework for JavaScript. It's very powerful. I really recommend to go to their website angularjs.org uh, for more details. And just to clarify, I'm not an expert in Angular JS. So um, to to tell the browser or to tell the document this is going to be an Angular JS app, you need to specify ng hyphen app. Uh, at the what I, in my case I specified to the HTML because I want to apply it to the whole document to the whole HTML document okay let's get it started so um, to start with I need to build a, a controller to my view in this case my view the entire body I want to have an ng controller and naming it main CTRL I'm gonna open a script block in here and create the constructor of my controller. And then the, the controller will take the scope service. Scope service um, it's basically is the con this is the container of the of the model like anything you save inside the scope service will be available f within your controller in my case going to be the main controller uh, for example if you have scope that my name equal to and you want to view this inside my body or within my controller I have to use these uh, bindable expression, the double curly braces, and then just say my name. You, d you don't need to specify the scope. So when I run this application or this page, I sh I'm expecting to see my name rendered. And here we go. Name shows up there. All right. Uh, now. I need to make a. Um, I need to use. If you are a Cold Fusion developer, you already may know about might know about the CF AJAX proxy tag. Th this tag is a really powerful tag that talks to your server side and brings your server side to your client side. This is really a powerful tag. In my case, my server side is CF Art Gallery. And the service will be artist service. I'm going to save that server side in my 2D, cl 2D Java class name. This is going to be the JavaScript variable that holds the whole information about and all the methods for that service. Artist.js. Okay. Remove this. Gonna create a variable here. Artist object, and I'm gonna instantiate this artist JS to that object. Now all the methods for for this artist service, including the method that I'm looking for, the get all artists, will be available inside my variable. And let's put the and and we let's save the result inside the scope so will be available to my controller. 
I'm naming it artist equal to artist object and the method that I need to call now, to to just take a look if we are getting the data or not I'm just gonna put here an alert and one of also nice cold fusion functions to visualize the data then encoding my result the scope artist so let's do that and save it and let's run the application here we go I got the result of the JSON base so now I know there's a full connection going between the back end and the front end now the easy part of it which I need to represent this data to the UI um, let's remove this start building some one table in here with the header last name and another row for the data all right um, usually when you are a cold fusion devoter or any other technology to done it same thing you need to loop over the data and also maybe probably having kind of a loop on top of your row to make your row repeating for each element or each record or each object. In Cold Fusion Word, you would end up doing something like this, CF loop and looping over an array or query. Um, with Angular JS, that's very easy and very simple and powerful in the meantime. You're gonna use the ng director ng repeat equal to artist in artist. So this artist is actually whatever we gonna get the result in this scope. And I'm telling loop over, iterate over this artist array and each element you have or each object you have save it in the artist. So I'm gonna use the bindable expression artist dot first name and artist dot last name and you can notice that I'm, I'm not using any server-side looping thing so that's really really good because you are lifting the load over um, the server side to do your to do the to, to control your view actually to render your view all your or your server side should be only responsible to your um, um, data access, validations, business rules. This is kind of reminds me in Flex, it's really cool that the Flex or the Flash player will be responsible of rendering the view, not the server side, in our case Cold Fusion. So it's kind of you 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 load balancing between the rendering of the view and the data and the data. So uh, uh, server side data definitely. Let's run the application and see what we're gonna have. Here we go and we have the list of the data here of course you can have a kind of nice CSS styling in here but the, the whole idea is how easy is work with angular JS and com combining and with a combined with cold fusion Ajax proxy to get the data as you can see 28 lines of code we uh, have called the database uh, get the result and actually it's not only this method we have the whole method is available and in, in future tutorials I'm gonna go more complex co complex examples to demonstrate the angular JS and cold fusion hopefully this is hopefully this hopefully you enjoyed this uh, tutorial and uh, thank you for watching